beautiful ladies and welcome to Operation Moderation. Today we're going to be looking at how, or, or I'm going to teach you how to recognize the difference between um, doing hard work that is not going anywhere and doing hard work that will create real change when it comes to your health and fitness goals. And I want to start by just sharing a little bit of a story of how I learned and earned this. So this concept that I'm going to explain to you today, I, I learned it when I was um, doing my schooling with Precision Nutrition, but I earned it when I started my online business. So let me explain because I, I'm going to tell you about how I earned it when I built my business, but then we're going to translate that to your health and fitness goals. So when I first started my online business, like about three or four years ago, I worked really, I was working really hard. Like I was taking all these different courses. I was putting in a bunch of work, but I wasn't really getting results. And so I'd, I'd take a course on how to build an online business. And then I put all of my effort into it. And then suddenly, and then it wouldn't work, like it wouldn't work immediately. And I'd be like, well, this doesn't work. And then some new shiny object or some new podcast would catch my attention. And I'd start listening to that person and then buy their course and then try implement their stuff. And I did this cycle over and over and over again for two or three years where I would find someone that, you know, was like, it just, it sounded like it's exactly what I needed. I would try and implement their stuff. I get frustrated and I move on. And then about the same time last year, I decided to step outside of my comfort zone and accept the fact that I had no idea what I was doing and that I needed help. And I hired a business coach. And I will tell you how much I paid for said business coach. I paid $12,000 US, and this is money that I did not have. And what my business coach taught me was how to focus on the things that really mattered and to stop getting distracted by all the bright, shiny objects around me. And I guess the point of that story and what I want you to think about today is I want you to understand that not all hard work leads to progress. And the same is true when it comes to your health and fitness. And I want to share an analogy with you that might kind of resonate. So I want you to imagine that you wake up one morning and you decide to go and dig a hole in your backyard. You go outside with your shovel and you start digging and you dig and you dig and you get dirty and you get sweaty. Maybe you get blisters on your hands. You get hungry, you get thirsty, your muscles start to ache. You're working really hard, but what is the point? Where is this all going? It's not going anywhere. And this idea of doing, so you're doing this really hard work and it feels challenging and it feels hard, but it's not going anywhere because you could basically dig this hole forever and ever. So in Precision Nutrition, they call this a difficult, easy task. So a difficult, easy task is a task or a habit or something that you do that feels hard, that feels challenging, but that ultimately is pointless because it's not getting you anywhere. Now, makes sense, right? So what if I told you that oftentimes we go on these diets, oftentimes very restrictive diets, and we essentially lose and gain the same 10 pounds over and over and over again. That is exactly the same as digging a hole to nowhere in your backyard. You're putting in really hard work. It feels challenging, but you're not seeing any progress and there's no point to it, okay? So I wanna give you some ideas of what that might look like because again, I think this is something that I see a lot when I'm talking to women um, on their, uh, you know, just like about their, their health and wellness journey. So it might be like, again, going on a restrictive diet or following like a super strict meal plan for say 30 days and then going right back to what you were doing before because it, was, it wasn't sustainable. Or it could be like relentlessly counting your calories and keeping your calories below 1200, but not seeing any weight loss. Or it could be like 
working super hard at the gym, pushing yourself more and more and more, maybe doing like six workouts and still not seeing any results on the scale or saying no to chocolate cake because you're on a diet only to find yourself binging on ice cream later on. These are all examples of difficult, easy tasks. So once again, the concept here is that they're, they're, they feel challenging, they feel hard, they feel like work, but they're not giving us any true progress. Now, don't judge yourself if you find yourself doing this because it's perfectly normal because what we have a tendency to do is we have a tendency to continue to do things that feel familiar, right? Um, and so, so we're going to choose to do these difficult, easy tasks because it's what we know. It's what we do. And so what we need to do is we need to learn how to get out of that loop of doing the difficult, easy tasks. So what I want to do inside Operation Moderation and what we're going to be talking about as we go through this series is how to shift your efforts towards true progress right? Towards true change, towards true growth. Um, and really what that's going to require is getting outside of your comfort zone a little bit, right? Of trying something unfamiliar, of taking a leap of faith, of, of the unknown. Like when I hired my, get, my business coach, of doing things that you resist, that you don't really want to do, or doing things that scare you. When you start to step outside of your comfort zone, there's a really good chance that you're going to start working on what Precision Nutrition calls difficult, difficult tasks. So difficult, difficult tasks are basically when we are doing hard work, but it's hard work that actually provides true change and true growth. So some examples, right? So that might be being okay with imperfection, right? So being okay with not following your diet to a T and being okay with the fact that maybe, you know, you're, you're, you, you do your best, but you're not following your restrictive diet to a T. Um, or being okay, setting new, new expectations. That is a difficult, difficult task. Being okay with slow and steady progress as opposed to trying to lose the weight as quickly as possible. Um, or learning how to enjoy your favorite foods in moderation instead of depriving yourself completely until you lack the willpower to continue. Those are ideas of difficult, difficult tasks. They're the things that will provide true growth and true change, and, but they're, they're difficult, difficult. They are hard. And I want to give you an example of a woman that just started working with me re, um, uh, recently who is a great example of a difficult, difficult change. Um, she came to me on about an eight or 900 calorie diet. And um, I told her that in order to lose weight, she had to eat more. Now, she trusted me. She took a leap of faith. And every week we started increasing her calories. And sure enough, she started to lose weight. But, but that required a massive mindset shift. And it required doing something that was completely out of her comfort zone and something that she was really scared to do. But that is the kind of difficult, difficult work that is going to lead to true change and really help you towards your health and fitness goals. So I have a little bit of homework for you because the goal of this whole little, um, this, today's episode is to help you recognize the difference between difficult, easy, the hard work that's not really getting you anywhere, and difficult, difficult, the hard work that creates true change. And I have a little worksheet for you. And if you'd like that worksheet, just pop it in the comments, pop worksheet, and I'll make sure that you get that. But essentially what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to think about a couple of questions. The first one is when it comes to your health and fitness goals, weight loss, because a lot of you come to me for weight loss, what is your difficult easy? What, what things do you do that are difficult easy? So it's things that you're doing over and over again that keep you stuck. Or it's things that you do to lose weight that feel familiar, and but it's the only thing you know, right? It's the thing that you kind of go back to time and time again. Or the things that you do to lose weight that leave you feeling frustrated, but you do them anyway. Those are all kind of things that you can think about as you're starting to 
sort of analyze what you do that is difficult easy. And then I want you to think when it comes to weight loss, what is your difficult difficult, right? So again, hard work that creates true change. Um, and so maybe it's things that you've read about or things that I talk about that you're scared to try. Um, or it could be things that you know you should be doing, but you just don't want to. That's called resistance to change. We're going to talk about that in another whole moderation operation. Or it, be, it, it could be things that you've been trying to avoid, um, but you know that you have to deal with in order to really make progress towards your health and fitness goals. Okay. So I want you to think about that. So it might be like, uh, you know, increasing your calories or exercising less or, um, getting over your all or nothing mindset, right? So these are sort of, and, and a lot of these topics are topics that we're going to be covering during operation moderation, because the whole concept of op operation moderation is to help you do the difficult, difficult things that you need to do in order to see permanent change. Now, one final thing before I get going, what I want you to do today is I want you to think of one very small but difficult, difficult task that you can do this week to create real change towards your health and fitness goals. You can share them in the comments, you can message me. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, you can keep it to yourself, write it down on a piece of paper if you, if you want to do that. But I want you to think of, do the exercise and think of one small thing that you can do today. One difficult, difficult task that's going to help you make true change. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you soon. Bye.